What the hell? <laughs> hey, hey, a second. There are, um, oh! There are dead bodies in this swamp, dude. That's disgusting. Are you kidding me? There's, there's actually eroding dinosaurs. Oh my god, that's the grossest. There's like eroding dead herbivores all over the place. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Riot's here playing Ark Survival Evolved Anunnaki. Kind of just still tried. I don't know. I'm trying to gather myself since last episode. If you guys haven't seen it, you probably should go check it out because a lot of what's going on now is completely based off of what's happened in the last two episodes. Last two episodes, everything has completely freaking changed. It's gone from like Anunnaki survival, we run this world to just, it's its honestly, it's pretty much the exact storyline of the Avengers. We run this world, we're too overpowered and we defend this planet to, holy crap, there's somebody here now who can completely vaporize all of us and now we have no way of killing him. That's essentially the situation we got going on here. Do you guys like to come back into bases sometime? That'd be super cool of you. So yeah, right now I'm basically trying to... You guys can just die out there for all I care. No, no, no. They, they, okay, we have Hulk over here has been free roaming this area for a while. Only things that spawn here are like small little vanilla creatures like Argentavis and stuff. Nothing nearly as big as freaking Zilla, right? So we're chilling. Don't worry about it. This area is fine. We're more concerned with more over on the beach area. But now, just to let you guys know, also, I've just been informed of another creature that is from a different mod that's actually... Pretty much equally as epic and OP as freaking Thanos that's also in this world. We have to- It's- It's gone to the point where- Yeah, I forgot I tamed you. I tamed this guy the other day. It was actually not very difficult. He was only level 23. I was very tired. It was very late. But he was very pretty and colorful. Get your colorful butt on in here. Plus, I figured we'd try him out and see how good fire griffins are. Maybe they're awesome. Maybe we only want to use fire griffins from now on. Maybe they suck. I don't know, this one's kind of too high up in the air, I'm too worried about war right now. We'll get into fun times later, it's survival. So right now, we finally need to go expand our base into that area over there. That area, that giant mega swamp avatar-like world that only exists on this map. Because, well for one, it's by far the coolest uh, biome I've ever seen in any arc map ever. Like, it needs to be a thing. And two, we need a separate base of operations. This is, it's no longer safe. Because the other creature's gonna spawn remotely in this vicinity, in this type of biome. And honestly, I'm not even playing. I'm not even joking around anymore. After seeing how strong these creatures are, it's like, it's, it's... We need to go make a little safe area where we can escape to when this place that falls, basically, is what I'm saying. We don't want to get caught with it. It's like, literally, have you guys seen Thor Ragnarok? You should, this isn't a spoiler, because it's been out for a long time. But you guys should understand, if Asgard falls, we need to have a contingency plan. So we're literally not caught with our pants down when freaking Thanos rolls up. It's like, our... Our arc world has actually become the Marvel Universe so exact, it's, it's almost scary to be honest. It's like way too, way too on point. Alright, let's just go ahead and teleport past this entire area because it lags so viciously every time. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys want to see more Anunnaki, by the way. Ooh, and check the link below in the comment section if you guys like Fortnite. Haha, <laughs> no, it's my second channel. I gotta, gotta always, gotta always shout out your second channel. There's a freaking Karkonos eating my snake. Get out of here with that. Nowhere safe. Don't worry, buddy. We're about to have an area where all of our giant snakes can roam free. Even the little giant ones, like this guy. Actually, there should still be a few more back in here, right? Correcto? Oh my god. Not to mention our world snake, and there's actually other god snakes in this world, too. That, um, we're just gonna have a pretty good time. My cheap butt has been way too cheap to gather resources, though. I was just thinking, like, crap, I gotta go craft some stuff if I'm gonna make a teleporter, but... <laughs> No, I don't. Recycling is the shits. It's no longer safe out here in this little area. Freaking, um, Pegos. Pegos always chewing on my creature's feet. Alright, so for one thing, we, um, we, I guess for everyone who remembers last episode, you pretty much know what's going on at this point in our lives. Like, the situation, the problem at hand is we always wanted an exact Thanos. That was like, Thanos, I'm not letting either of these creatures chew on me in five seconds, and they both will. But we've had a Thanos before and he was just too weak and not epic enough for the name Thanos. And that's was, well, we thought it was a bummer. We thought it was a bad thing until we got an actual Thanos in here. And now that actual Thanos is here, it's actually not funny. It's actually, it's, it's, I understand the exact stress all the Avengers are under right now. Like this, 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 this overwhelming issue. Probably not all the Avengers, but <laughs> this. 
I don't want to say any. I, 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 oh my god. Some people won't even see the movie for like a year, so you really can't ever give up spoilers in movies. It's just the decent. I mean, in videos, it's just the decent thing to do. That's not even what I'm walking over towards. Hang on. I left you. Where's. Where's your clone, sir? Oh my god, that's magic. Alright, sweet. Just gotta keep this going. I actually didn't, um. Didn't get a chance to go out and clone these guys as much as I wanted to last night. Just because, um, well, that freaking Thanos Fortnite game mode is going to go away soon. And I have to kill Thanos in every hilarious way first and post a video of it. Every single hilarious way must be done. Everything. All right, so you, let's get you. Just got to keep my army going. I think we all agreed this is generally the best way to do it, right? Like, don't worry, I am still gonna breed like 30 or 40 Dota Rexes and of course name them all after you guys. Make sure to comment or comment random words in the comment section to to have a Dota Rex named after you, by the way. I still have to say that every time. People forget that. I'll, they'll like get mad at me that they've never been picked. I'll be like, well, how often do you comment random stuff? That's how I do it. I don't pick them every time. Then I like go into a video and just scroll for days. Alright, so the army shall multiply faster, so that's nice at least, because it's it's we cut. <laughs> we got so destroyed. You guys have to promise me you're not gonna get emo- Hey now, but you guys have to promise me you're not gonna get emotionally attached to any of these- Any of these dogs of war before we send them into battle. I actually had a subscriber. If I remember to insert it in the video now, hopefully I didn't delete the photo, I'll put the photo up now. But someone- Someone was getting so mad at me in my Discord last night because because of all the people that died last episode, that giant epic battle. Spoiler alert, but um- I should have said that before, but it was fun. He's like, it's, you're just trying to fill the empty dark hole in your soul by killing off all your subscribers. I was, I was like, whoa, dude, back it up. I didn't want that to happen any more than you did. <laughs> okay, now, basically, this other thing we really have to worry about, one of the main ways to fight this now, it's actually funny, the kind of situation we have going on here. We got one, it's, we, we basically, and I've already considered trying to get these two bosses to fight each other, but it's just not a thing, because that's typically what I would do. You know, Godzilla's being a dick. What's Mothra up to? Perhaps he would like to assist us in this fight. But no, that's not really how these guys work. They're both sort of just enemies on opposite sides of the spectrum. Never forget your alphabet, ladies and gentlemen. It'll bite you in the butt. Crap, I think we're going to have to spawn them in like bosses like we've had to do with, um... We've had to, okay, yeah, because there's an Origin Argentavis on the map. We might have to. Basically, this one creature, I don't want to give up too many stuff because, or too much stuff because it's more fun that way. It's more fun as surprises. To get, to defeat this one other worldly, we're just going to call it Galactus right now. Just Galactus. That's essentially what it is. It's another just planet destroying monster we got to freaking worry about coming over the hill. Like, every, everything's a monster if your monster's a relative turn, remember? Jurassic World. But you have to kill all the Argentate, I mean all the Origins and unite their freaking whatever medallions to create a creature that can even defeat this bastard. And I only even see one origin. Perhaps this is just bad luck. 3460. Or perhaps, um, they just rarely spawn because it's supposed to be an end game thing. But I don't do that. Okay, 3460. That's. That's, um. That's right over by. That's right over by Royal Oil. But, um. What am I trying to say here? Oh, yeah, I don't do that end game stuff because a lot of these. Like, a lot of these bosses are laid out to be- I'm just gonna go take a look at the origin. Let's just go see if we can go kill him with Odin really quick. And then if not, I mean, if then if we can, let's do it. Because we need to get these things. But, um... Ah, blah, 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 I was gonna try this. Oh, these- they are making these super endgame monsters. Where they want you to play on here for like five, six hours a day till you eventually find it. I can't do it. I'm trying to run a Twitch channel, dude. I gotta stream non-stop. And I gotta do crazy stuff for a second channel. So I typically just don't, well, although I do kind of spend like nine hours a day on my arc, but it's also editing and exporting and importing and freaking that kind of stuff. But, um, scary. Is that gold thing? No, that's just the, oh, that's just a drop. I was, it could have been an origin. Essentially, it's just better if you guys want to see epic stuff. We have one of the admins spawn in the boss and we go fight it. I really don't consider it cheating. Cheating would be spawning in the item it drops. 3440 Dude, I don't know what the hell just happened, but it is like this this hurricane that just kicked in and made everything so impossibly dark Absolutely ridiculous Why the hell would he even try anything on feet in this weather? 
Oh my god, look at this. Snowflakes? Snowflakes? That's, that's ridiculous. Ants a snowstorm? It is actually inhospitable. Hospitable? This is not gonna work out right now. This is ridiculous. Plus, to be honest, I'm pretty sure the Origins have like 200 million health. Which kind of makes it its own issue. They kind of make it its side, because I've seen it before. I've seen the Origin Wyvern. That's kind of why I left Odin at base when I went to go investigate, because I figured it would go down badly. Alright, we definitely need to get a lot more up on the bioluminescent trees. That needs to be a thing in our, in our, in our world. They have about 200 million health is the thing, which is kind of another issue in itself. Primal Fear really stepped its game up from freaking Anunnaki. They just doubled all the stats, all the numbers. Wow, the lighting around here is so pretty. But the thing is that everyone was confused about Thanos, because Thanos only has like 1.5 million health. The problem is he does like 20 million health, or 20 million, or I think around 20 million damage. I assume because he had Odin at half health after like three shots, and Odin has freaking... Come here, buddy. So many different things. Odin has a lot of health, dude. Odin has 40 million health, and he almost got three-shotted. You know how upsetting that is? I do think it can't just be an army of Odins, though. That can't just work out. Oh, Jesus, that gets me every time. It looks just like the dragon donkey made. What a crazy show Shrek is. I mean, movie show. Well, it was a TV show for a little bit. Awful, awful TV show. Great movie. Okay, so now it's time to go, I guess, just resupply army. This is where commenting a random word down below to get your name entered into. Because we're not going to name, like I said before, I'll name them. Um, I'll name some of the dogs of war after some of you guys' suggestions, but I'm not naming the dogs of war after people. Because you guys might not have the most warrior-esque name, but I still want to pick you, you know what I'm saying? Like, no offense if you're a furry or a brony or something, but I might not name a wolf like Brony Wizard 39 or something. That just... I can't do that to a warrior. I'll name a freaking Dodo Rex that, though, because that's how... That's, that's Those are you guys. I try and make this go down as smoothly as possible. There's going to be many, many babies coming out of here. It's going to be the entire next generation of our soldiers, actually. It's going to be kind of upsetting, but also a happy thing. It's going to be mod- I, I don't know, dude. It's just- we're just gonna need to get them stronger, I suppose. They all got obliterated, so- I don't know really, what honestly, if you're watching this before watching the last episode, though, you can't get mad at me for giving up spoilers. Like, if you actually care about that kind of thing, because you're the- You're the one watching it, bro, Sidon. Alright, so we're just gonna plop them all down right then- Meow. Alrighty, Roo. Shizen, they're all gonna go- No, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna just go ahead and put that- See, I used to have a door here. Doors were a good invention. But I had to get rid of- nope, that's a wall. You were thinking of door just now. God, I'm so out of it! There we go, at least these doors are baller right there. Those are some good looking doors. See, I just had to be careful, I just didn't want to accidentally remove a wall. Or not accidentally, I didn't want to purposely remove a wall. And then, essentially, all my critters come pouring out of there. That's- that's like my worst nightmare. Even this can't be manual. Alright, you're on, you just quiet. S plus stuff, man. S plus stuff is the future. Look at all these eggs! Look at all these chances for you to have something named after you. This is going to be an actual disaster right here, but I don't care. It sounds hilarious. <gasps> it sounds like a hilarious disaster. Alright, so now we are jammed in here with more eggs than- Look, look that's crazy. This is like a freaking human rights violation right here. They're not even humans. Oh my god, just go ahead and just, uh... <gasps> They're gonna explode any second, bro. 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and just close that right Oh my god, you know you've stuffed too many eggs into it. Look at this. Good lord, they're just flying out every direction. I done a good thing. See, this is why I think people should have to apply for a thing from the government before they could breed. I know that's a big thing to say. I don't even care if I got refused. There's too much traffic in this world. I, I, honestly, come visit Los Angeles if you don't believe me. It's astounding. Take you an hour to go to the grocery store. Because everyone thinks they can just have like 50 kids. It's totally cool. There's a lot of splashing going on there. A lot of weird stuff going on there. Alright, you ready to take a peek? Woo! Whoa, hang on. Don't be spilling out. Don't be spilling out. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who could have foreseen such unfortunate circumstances? Let's go ahead and just ease them out. Oh my god, this is gonna be a disaster. Absolute disaster. Our next generation of war boys, dude. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh, this is horrible. I regret this already. Everywhere you click, you claim a baby Rex. A <laughs> baby Rex. A baby Dota Rex. Oh, except there. 
And and to be honest, I th I, I think we're gonna have to go through this a different way. This is. There's going to have to be an easier method to this, or I'm going to kill myself. Oh my god, they're building up all around me. I immediately regret this decision. Like, so, I mean, like, obviously this isn't immediately. This is a little after immediately, but it's, it's, it's one of the worst things I've ever done. I don't know how we're ever going to solve this issue, to be honest. I assume once they're adults, all the ones we don't claim will just kind of walk off the side. I guess that's what we're doing. Let's just claim everyone we can, which everyone does, and it's just gonna walk off the side. Like, once they grow too big for this little house, I mean. And maybe, uh-oh. Maybe next time we'll, um, we'll have a Dota Rex breeding farm. That sounds like a much better idea than on a floating island over a giant ocean. Oh, actually, yeah, that's a genius idea. I should have done that from the start. Sh floating island over the ocean just seems like a bad place to raise a child, to be honest. Let alone a thousand. It seems kind of hopeless at this point. Like, I am trying to do my best, but they are just not making it possible. Perhaps if I just- Oh no, I've jumped into the cuddle puddle. Well, I'm in it now, man. I'm crowd surfing on baby total rexes. It's time to, uh, time to get them all. You know what? I can honestly say I don't care at all what happens to the rest of those things in there. There's about five I've yet to freaking, oh my god, just get me away. Okay, so it turns out it's actually not easier to put down 40 eggs in a very small closed off space of a room. Who would have thunk it? Not me, I thought it was that. I mean, there's still quite a few of them moving in there. I'm very concerned how this is going to go down once that, once that wall opens. Just because of the impending doom over the side. But, I mean, worst case scenario, we go on a little bit of a dodo, a dodo cleanup crew tomorrow. I mean, they're not going to die from fall damage. They, we did get at least 20 of them. That makes me happy, at least. But are you even walking around? Even you're doing it? Oh, you're just one that walked out of there, aren't you? I guess that's one way we can do it. We can just kind of open the floodgates. Oh, my God. It's like in The Walking Dead when I open the barn doors. You got to get them as they come out one by one. Scary stuff, man. Oh, we can get them all here, though. It's way easier. It's actually getting harder by the second because they're getting freaking bigger. That's where it's starting to get. Like, they're rapidly growing. Oh. Oh, that would have been it. That one's going to do it. Now they're going to pour. They're getting too big too fast. Oh, my God. I'm stuck on them. Holy crap. They're all over. Oh, God. It's a like baby pickup. Rap rapid. Ah! Who's a... Hang on, are you guys following me? What the hell? Wait, you're not the ones I attained that still have to go. They are. They all still have to have disabling wonder. Or, you know what I mean? This Dude, I'm being rubber banded like crazy by them too. For some weird ungodly reason. What the hell? They're getting so far. Oh, this is scary. This is at least At least we have a lot more foot soldiers. I mean, and, and the thing is, the production of foot soldiers is at such an accelerated rate that it's just, it's just fantastic. We just have, like I said, turn the camera back on. That part's at least cool. Alright, well that was one of the most traumatizing things I've done in a while. Totally awesome, bro. Sweet, these things only have five minutes left, they're actually flying. Alright, let's go ahead and just keep one more cloning, the original, because I'd like to defeat Thanos as quick as freaking possible. He's kind of making it so we can't go over to that part of the map, which is just bonkers, because that's like, that's our part, this is our part of the map. Should have spawned him in some weird place, like hell or something. That would have been perfect. The upside down, oh my god, Thanos would run that joint, although it would be impossible to find him again. Over here, he's actually like the easiest thing to find ever. Alright, Odin, come on, buddy, just get right up there, you poor weak noodle. Wait, should we even be cloning you? Hang on, I didn't realize you weren't repairing it all. Are you all... Are you all coming in this week? Is that... Is that what's happening? Oh my god, stop the cloning process this instant until this guy's healed. Oh my god, oh my god. <gasps> what do they take? These demonic creatures take so long to heal. It's bananas. I just gotta make some health potions before I... Before I fix all that. Either way, I'm focused on this now. This is gold. Hang on. I'm still gonna put these in here, though. Because I don't want to carry a bunch of shards around on me. Alright, now where looks just about godly enough down here for one guy to set up his god palace. You know what I'm saying? Alright, you gotta let the frame rate adjust. I'm sure we have a good deal of swamp donkeys around here. Probably a large amount of swamp donkeys, to be honest. Too many swamp donkeys for one man to count. 
Look, you got the AIDS. Jesus Christ, that's going to be the only downside about living here is gradually getting used to the AIDS. But I'm sure if, um, you know, people could do it, then I'm sure we could do it. I definitely want to be around this god tree. Got to have some of this. But also, I guess we could always just... I just want it all to be mine, you know, it doesn't get to be dangerous, it's all gonna be mine. I'd like to put a giant freaking fence around this entire biome, but then I suppose it loses some of the specialness. I guess this tree right here shall be our initial claim. Because as long as I get to weasel around here with my god snake and all my other snakes, then tame other snakes and have all my snakes in this area being snaky, then, um, yeah, it'll work out just fine. Alright, so, damn it, but I want the whole thing, I don't have enough, I don't wanna, grr, hang on. It is a giant, nice open area. We are about to get exposed to so much AIDS, it's not even funny, bro. Oh my god, even the water is like orange with AIDS. Look at that. That is some aids -y ass water right there. Are you kidding me? That's like here, too. That's not even... That's this, 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 this shallow part. This is, where the, this is where the land is. Good lord, it actually gets more and more disgusting as you... Oh my god, I gotta check out. Look at this. this oh my god. Actually, I guess it never... Oh my god, that is disgusting. I could taste it. I could actually... I could smell it. Is what it is. Oh, what is the swamp? It's just fish... Okay, you know what? It's disgusting, but it's absolutely where we have to have our snake house. That's... That's, um, set in the stones, baby. I guess I'd like to have this rock in here. The rock is awesome. What the hell just made that growl? Ah! Jesus Christ! What the? Oh my God! That was some horrifyingly ugly face to just see. I don't know right there. I wish all of you come back. Yes, you you are on pure freaking sentry mode right now, buddy. And if he makes that noise again, you have the complete okay to kill it. What the hell? <laughs> hey, hey, a second. There are, um, oh! There are dead bodies in this swamp, dude. That's disgusting. Are you kidding me? There's, there's actually eroding dinosaurs. Oh my god, that's the grossest. There's like eroding dead herbivores all over the place. This is the most disgusting slash most, most epic discovery ever right here. Look, there's just a freaking pack of herbivores just eroding right there in the water oh my god lovely place for snakes absolutely lovely it's just putting down the last touch like the last gates and it's in another giant just freaking herbivore graveyard oh god you get under here it's just so gross and nasty we're definitely gonna get some sort of sept sepsis or septis or whatever the hell it's called we need a tetanus shot to prevent all the septis i don't know the exact words all right all I know is there's these decomposing creatures all around me. And I've been in here for like half an hour. There's no way I don't have some sort of AIDS right now, right? Like there's, I mean, I want something. Like I can't even do it correctly right here because I'm so distracted by these rotten corpses in front of me. This area, this entire place is so insanely impressive. All right, so this one's just going to be just a temporary ugly one for right now. I'll fix that later. Right now, I just kind of really want to patch this crap up right now so I can go ahead and bring our snake in. That's like the entire goal in life right now. And then if, if that snake, it basically dominates this area for a day, then we'll bring in the others. That's how we shall do the testing. And here is its bounds. Dude, this snake is about to have the dopest freaking hangout spot in the whole world. Don't drop me in the boob water! Oh my god. You bastard. I can't believe you just did that. Now, now I smell like, well, like feces and death. There's actually decomposing creatures in here. There's actually death in the water. This would be some rank ass water. You notice some places I didn't close. I'm just not. I'm. I'm done being on the ground after all that. I don't care how goofy this looks. Holy crap! I think we've done it. No balls. I forgot about this entire sector. Oh, I got so excited for a second. Oh my god. This, I have like the worst ADD ever in in the world. So building is like I don't know. It's weird. It kind of gives me this weird anxiety feeling in my like stomach where I feel like I'm gonna throw up and cry at the same time. It's like weird. <laughs> it's a weird, it's a weird feeling. Especially when I'm doing it like this. The dead bodies all around me while I'm flying through speed dropping fences. I think it's just this. I think it's just the way I'm building. Oh, you went too close. You got the herpes again. Way to go, Johnny boy. Way to go. How are you gonna explain that one to the missus? Sorry, wife, I got herpes at work today, but it wasn't how you think. Oh, yeah, sure. Sure, she'll believe that. 
All right, so right here, and we've done it right here. Oh, let's go ahead and name you, uh... Why do I, my mind always goes to Swamp Donkeys? Snake Kingdom. I like the sound of that. All right. Now, before moving all our snakes over and taming other godly snakes and moving them here and moving everything, basically just creating this or turning this into just Indian Jones. Wow, I've been recording for an hour and a half. Holy crap. We just need to move one snake here to make sure that it can survive peace and jolly free with no issues. And that's what we're going to do. This one right here, if you did take the whiff of my jive. Honestly, the only snake epic enough to even, like, the, like it's, you can't have an area like that and it not have a god snake like this. That's just not how it works. Do you even watch movies? Don't bring the fish, don't bring the fish. Crap, I think we just brought the fish dragon with us. Shizen! This stupid bug, Yukamama, we can, you can, needs to be leveled up if we can't level it. Alright, welcome to your new home. Oh my god, this is perfect for you. And look, over here there's some dead herbivores for you to snack on. Mmm, okay, well now I've got the herpes again. That's lovely. Just trying to avoid that. Either way, you might enjoy those dead... Oh yeah, look at that. Or if you want some live food, stuff will spawn. And then if you just generally want to hang out, don't worry. There's these little tunnels right here for you to slither in and get all cozy with. Oh good, now I'm gonna die here. Wait. Wait, I can reverse on out of there. All right, let's just go ahead and back it up a little bit just so I can escape also. And there you go. Now you've got your big giant hangout spot. Anything? Okay, now I should probably actually, you know what? Just just because this is how I run thing. No, I guess I should. You're fine. I was going to leave a Dota Rex here as Sentry, but he's fine. Now we just got to get those crazy mega basilisks and all those type of creatures and stuff. And we've got ourselves. A nice little thing going. It's nice to remind ourselves that even though Thanos is destroying everything we love and care about, we have defenses going up. New bases, we're growing stronger. Our army's growing stronger. They may be all at half health, but all craft some potions. It's no issue. We've got this on lock. So yeah, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you beautiful people in the next episode. Peace!